What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overload here. So we're going to be talking about Buffy the Vampire Slayer in this video here today. We'll be going over this pause reboot revival from Disney and 20th Century Fox and Monica Breen's recent comments that she made. Not, not that recent, but like a year ago that came out before the same comments were made later that same year from an, from an executive producer to let us know that the show was on pause for the time being but not officially canceled and then we'll also be going over more on why i think this pause could be related to kendara blake's new series that she has been releasing uh since her first book dropped in every generation and just why i think it's an appropriate next step to take in the buffyverse so Monica Breen, who we know was attached to be a part of the revival when it was announced in 2018, had actually confirmed that the show itself was stuck in development hell in February of 2022. This was during an episode of Slayer Fest 98. Shout out to you. Uh, Monica recalled that she was hired to reboot Buffy and that she wanted to put a new girl up against vampires. But Hollywood being Hollywood and IP complications being what they are, combined with the pandemic, had left the show in the ether for now. And she doesn't know if the show will even move forward at this point. But then we know shortly after later that same year, a producer came out and confirmed that Buffy was on pause as of now. My thing is from her energy and just how I'm interpreting this. My question is, why was Monica left in the dark? Her wording just comes off like Disney stopped communicating with her at some point after Disney acquired 20th Century Fox. It doesn't sound like a script was ever fully written either, but most importantly, she doubled down on the fact that it was a new girl and not Buffy being race swapped. This is something I thought was very important for her to say because I know at one point she did make a statement after the initial response that came out after the show was originally announced in 2018 but she never flat out said, hey, it's not going to be a black Buffy. She more or less said, we're just going to meet a new Slayer. But that still didn't flat out say it's not going to be Buffy being race swapped. Here, she flat out made it clear that you were not going to have a black Buffy, which makes me more than relieved because black people within this universe are already the reason for the Slayer existing. We already have a very rich, deep history and connection to why the Slayer even exists. Your first Slayer was black. We met Kendra, who was black, got to know Robin's mother, Nikki Wood, who was another black Slayer and had a black potential Slayer present for season seven. Uh, I believe her name was Rona. So there would be no reason to race swap in this context with a history that began with black women. So I'm glad Monica was going to just give us a unique black woman doing her own thing. Now, I think the reason that is on pause is because I think truly think that what disney wants to do now with everything that happened regarding joss whedon stuff like that that's all going to just be cut out they're going to shift focus away from him i think what they ultimately want to have done is adapting kendara blake's novels that she's working on because i again want to point out they never said it was canceled they just said it was paused i think the pause is related to kendara blake and her finishing these novels because she says she has a trilogy plan so kendara blake who again has a couple of books released so far that i'd love to see adapted into a show from disney recently was asked if she'd like to see this and her response was it's not up to me disney owns the rights to it already meaning her books and the ip itself of course since we know disney acquired 20th century fox and they own all the rights to the books so if you find me advocating for an adaptation of this this is her again it's not because it's not because it's coming from a selfish place. It's mostly because just like other Buffy fans, I want more Buffy content. That's more or less what she was getting at. Kendar's recent book is doing something important, which makes me want to see this adapted as our Buffy sequel even more. Kendar's books, just as a refresher, are titled In Every Generation and One Girl in All the World, which was just released earlier this year. Both center on Frankie Rosenberg, daughter of Willow, who is a student at the now rebuilt Sunnydale High. And of course, Sunnydale itself has been rebuilt. The books are set 15 years after the Hellmouth Battle of 2003. Frankie is a witch and a slayer combo, of course. She has her own Scooby gang and Giles, Oz and Spike all make appearances to rep the legacy cast. Buffy and Faith and the other Slayers have gone missing at an annual Slayer convention, but the world still needs a Slayer, of course, and Frankie's recent activation makes her the perfect candidate while we try to figure out what happened to the others and navigate our youth similar to the original show. Kendara has taken it upon herself in this recent new book, One Girl in All the World, to address the consent and non-consent aspects of Slayer activation, and this feels like the most appropriate approach to take with a sequel set after the series finale. 
Slayers never gave consent from the time they were created. Men stopped a, or strapped the girl down and put the essence of a demon inside of her so that way they could have somebody to protect them from the evil that existed in the world. That, of course, being demons and vampires and all the other old ones that roamed the earth when humans were still first coming onto the surface. Now, this magic they perform was passed down to a new girl every time the last one was killed until willow decided to break that chain that those men started by activating every girl who could have the potential by channeling the essence of the scythe we know to battle the first evil now while she was acting in good faith willow herself also did this without getting consent from those women so kandara's books examine this head on and it seems that our big bad of the series going forward are a group of rogue slayers that did not want to be a part of Buffy's army and they despise Willow so they are looking for a way out of this the reason I think that this is brilliant is because it is again having that connective tissue to stuff that was already kind of left on the table for season seven I don't think it was ever really addressed in the comics in this capacity i could be wrong because it's been a while since i've kind of looked at any cliff notes or dived that deep into the comics but the fact that it was left there on the table for you to address that consent and non-consent aspect of the slayer lineage and now it's being tackled in this capacity i think that this is the most appropriate step to take when addressing a buffy sequel if you were to revive the buffy verse and then of course you can move on and do your own thing afterward but addressing that non-consent and the fact that there definitely are women out there who could feel some type of way about being infused with powers they didn't want and how that could probably just make their life that much more challenging the fact that they probably aren't getting to do certain things in life because of these powers they have and of course they're not going to take their aggression out on the people responsible which in this case would be willow they could also be the ones responsible for the disappearances of faith and buffy i don't know that because we're going to find that out when the trilogy from kendara blake concludes but you guys let me know what you think about this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notification and there's a video in the description i'll have links on my social media accounts i'm on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course to let me know any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video